Alrighty, I am back. Let's go ahead and hop back in here. Get a new game started. Continuation of the stream. Brand new YouTube video. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Uh, deleted the save already. Yep. Alright, so both Hank and Mad Mole, man. Pretty sure they are brothers. They got the same facial hair, so that means brothers. Um, <laughs> but yeah, both went down. Um, who do we go with now? Man, I've pretty much like played everybody recently. Man, I haven't played this dude in forever. I've played him on like one of my super old save files. Let's go with this guy. Aiden, you're the Juan. Still on Nightmare, make sure that's all good. Keep the same map. Oh, ready. Get my drinking stuff going. <laughs> what? Get out of here. Get out of here. What do you mean? Bruh. Game. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is now the second time I've spawned right in the middle of a uh, POI, or like right next to one, whatever, um, I have never, ever spawned on top of a house. Ever. Never in my life. May have called the new seed oopsie, probably should at this point. I need to get out of here. I don't even know if I can get out of here. I, mean, I guess that they don't see me. Let's go. Sensed. That is uh, not particularly good. Spawning on a roof, kind of a bummer though. Yep, that is a first. That is indeed a first. Come on, for the love of most things, please pick up the rock. Yeah, definitely. I had two spawns that I've never seen happen before. 
I don't know about this map, man. This seed is rough, brother. Like, uh, we'll just spawn you in the middle of the zombies. It's kind of an interesting start to things, right? You can fill in your own backstory for how your character ended up naked on a rooftop. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing on you. Don't have anything to deal with the zombies. I had to pick up and run in the middle of the night or something. I don't know. It's going to be funny if we're right by the same town. Oh, that's Burnt Forest. I don't believe we're by the same town. I saw a zombie like right here. Level four hunting knife. That is pretty fancy. Because that means we can, like, basically you have to kill an animal first, like a pig, a deer, you're probably not going to kill a bear right away. But anyway, kill an animal first so that you can get a bone and then you can start harvesting bones from zombies. But now that we've got that knife, even though it's only level 4 and in pretty bad condition, it doesn't matter. We can get bones from zombies now and we're set. And I'm going to be so good at the beginning of the game. First couple days, we get this. I'm picking up all of this cotton. We need to make our iron... Or, yeah. We're going to make this cotton into uh, iron armor. <clears throat> anyway, we'll make our cotton armor get up again. I believe it does help, you know, to some degree. At least I like to think that way. Um, let's see, what are we at? Okay, that should be just about enough. Please? Just punch it. <laughs> Never mind, can't punch it either. So burnt forest. Let's avoid that. I'm getting a lot of lag in the game right now for some reason. Oh, I have like the non... Okay. It's gonna take a little while. Let's try to find some bird's nest, like right in the area if we can. Let's wait until all this finishes crafting out. And then we're gonna sit here and gather resources for a bit. forest not especially good for finding birds nests. I do not seem to find them all that often out here. Maybe my eyes are busted. 
I'm just not looking properly. Stumps have been very good to us recently. All right. Um, look at that. There are like no dead trees around here. All right, here we go. Stocked up right away. point tree worth All right, and while I am just sat here chopping away I'm gonna have myself a little snack oops I forget that you can just uh, equip anyway yeah I'm just gonna mute the mic but I'll be here
Alright, <clears throat> I'm back. The snack is complete. The wrapper open in the most ridiculous way. I had to like battle the wrapper the whole time. That was a rough battle. <laughs> yeah, John, I like the uh, backstories. I missed the first one when you posted that a while back. You said um, the you know possible backstories for me spawning on the roof. Um, the one being that my dude was sunbathing before the apocalypse. He fell asleep. <laughs> like sitting up there sunbathing, all of a sudden surrounded by zombies. Where's the pig? I don't even have a, a bow or anything. Maybe I should be uh, doing my job here. But yeah, and the other one, I went to go check the uh, satellite. I was like, oh wait, I don't have a satellite. Man, it's already 1400. I'll just wait. You could use that as like a backstory, like been up on the roof for X reason. Didn't know that the zombie apocalypse had started. Started making your way, or just like heard a bunch of zombies show up. Like what the heck? Not sure why you'd be up there without anything on though. I guess if you lived out in the middle of the woods, you do what you want though, right? Clothes definitely optional. All right, this will be the last one, and we are gonna start checking around for a town. And even though going to the town last time, like I said, is probably gonna get me killed, and it did get me killed. Um, I just need somewhere to loot, man. There's a zombie walking around in the background there. Hmm. Can't stop doing that, man. Okay. This should have us <clears throat> pretty well set up. I really don't have any feathers to them. I kind of need to get some feathers going for myself. And we got, we got 48. A little bit of a start. of looking for a town on his sunstroke from being on the roof too long? Probably. I 
If that is all looking like burnt forest out that way, do not want to go that way. Do not want to fall off and break my feet either, though. My gosh. Man, it's too foggy to really see anything. <laughs> keep heading north a bit, see where we end up. What's our stone at? Okay, nearly 300, good. We might as well make our club. Basically useless at this point, but when we do make our um, arrows and stuff, it'll go towards our quest. Man. Maybe head northwest, I guess. Maybe try to stay along the top here so I get a better view of things. Eighty six, it's a decent start. Start collecting food now. I mean, we kind of sh we sh really should, honestly. It's gonna take a little while, though. <laughs> One reason that I kind of don't want to is that the zombies can then smell me. They will think I smell delicious. Um. But if I don't, I won't have food like I did last time when I get to where I'm going. Last time I was able to just like cook some stuff up and be like, sweet, we're ready to go. We got food, we got meat, we got eggs. I was able to make a nice little handful of bacon and eggs. But that first animal I definitely killed so I could get the bone from it. And I don't need that right now. more than one. No, put the put the frame down, you maniac. Okay. Sixty five is a decent start. Playthrough is not messing around. Okay. 
Okay. They move too quick. Like I'm being able to completely change the direction that they are facing <laughs> or moving instantly is a bit much. You do love the day one exploration? Yeah, it can be fun. It can be fun. There weren't two crawlers that would just hop down and club them up. Sorry, this is a little bit hard for even me to see. open. Blunt weapons XP. It's just a wooden club. back. Not sure if that was a wandering horde, but it really seemed like it. So like day one, nightmare settings, you could use a wandering horde. I guess that's why the Wandering Horde nightmare settings, huh? Is that Wasteland? Am I between Burnt Forest and Wasteland? Bruh. Get out of here. Not so sure about this map. Is that another bird's nest I stepped on? It was. I just saw another bird's nest as well. I'm like right here. Oh, there it is. Zombie just spawned right there.
that's burnt forest. I, like, if it comes down to me having to run through burnt forest or wasteland, I will turn around. Hey, buddy, rabbit. And go the other direction. There's a lady pretty nearby. So hopefully she does not see me. I'm a bit too close to the burnt forest. Where did that guy go? Oh, there he is. Waited on that one. I wonder what's runtime. Oh, wow. Timing is uh, <clears throat> rough. It's hard to tell. Sometimes he gets caught on that little corner of the boulder, and sometimes not. this path. Come on, buddy. I hit him in the back, I think. Oops. Alright, I gotta move. I think if I move, he'll, yeah. I was the issue. Very nice. Alright, in between a burnt forest and a wasteland is not the best start. But yeah, you run the other way. Yep, that's what I plan on doing. I plan on running the other direction. Actually, I might as well go ahead and get the club and bow rolling. Three lead, let's go. Was it three or eight? I don't know. It was lead. <laughs> so not entirely useful. One of those things that I probably shouldn't even be picking up right now. chance that this is gonna like the gore block will form on the boulder and that would make me super salty okay uh, and when you're trying to get your first bone and it like forms on top of something like that it instantly breaks um, so that's kind of a sad way to start the day man that helped let's check if I have leather out oh my gosh All right, where's my torch We're gonna need more stone though. Where are we at? Only 105. I mean, we have a fair number of uh, arrows, which is very nice. There's a that dude right there. Well, let's go ahead and do that. I mean, we're sat right here. Might as well, right? I 
little bit dangerous to be traveling around right now. Are any weapons up? Oh, 94. So close. Make it a little bit easier to see, yeah. Because me personally, like when I'm playing, it doesn't really matter if I can see this or not. But um, especially if like people are scrolling through on Twitch and being like, "Hey, what Seven Days to Die stream can I watch?" Well, this screen is totally black. <laughs> Let's not click on that one. Sometimes a little bit of light does help. Oh my gosh. No, stop. I just realized I didn't even make my... I have all of this cloth and I never made my armor. That was kind of not super bright. Um, oh my gosh, please. Check out how cool we look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. 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 I like the hood. <laughs> I like the look of that hood so much better. Uh. All right, we balled out here. IRL as well, man. Like I said, I don't know if the uh, cloth armor is really going to do a whole lot for me, but it might do just enough to save my life. How are we doing on wood? Not amazing, but not awful either. in level two, let's go. You'd force me in total darkness, but it's probably just a reflection of your mental state and not the awesome content. <laughs> oh man. Nah, it'd be nice if people are able to see a little bit here and there. Am I missing two frames? Oh. I sure am. Alright, so we have 140 arrows. I might as well make these. I'm just kind of waiting for my stamina to go back up a little. It's about 130. Got a little bit of time. But yeah, I think this is a, uh, a bad place to be. Burn forest all along my right. Looks like wasteland to my left. Um, and it also looks like they kind of come together.
take this big old tree down. We should be good for a bit. Got a reasonable amount of stone. That kind of scared me. Um, <laughs> we'll have a pretty good amount of wood after this. I wonder if I go around this side. I don't know if that helped to make anything brighter or not, but you can see there is a light in the distance. <laughs> uh, 286 stone. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. Zombie just a chillin' over there. Let's kind of wander around him. We do have meat on us now, so I really need to be careful with that. And that dude is definitely faster than we are. There's another deer. Helps if you load your bow. Got him. There it is. All right, see so many people who don't play permadeath and never put their arrows or ammo on their tool belts. I have to check their backpacks unarmed. Gives you stress, oh, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> so if you don't drop your tool belt, but you drop everything else on death. Yeah. Yeah, that is definitely wasteland. Yeah, there are times, uh, like, <laughs> I love my backpack so much, I'll drop nothing on death. No, uh, the backpack does go, but yeah, tool belt does not. Oh, there's a car right there. And a car right there. Do we risk it? Is this a stupid risk? Yes. Do we do it anyway? Yes. Maybe just for this one, not the other. That other one kind of makes me nervous. Oh my gosh, help me. Wild Ben. Oh, Wild Man Tell. Oh my gosh, Mr. Wild, don't bring him in here. This is nonsense. Man, I should have done the pre rolls a while back. Hold up, hold up. We gotta hide. Oh my gosh. Mr. Wild. You're running late. <laughs> but first, let me say hello. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Yeah, John Book, I do not want to dance with the dogs at all. But welcome in. Thank you very much for bringing your friends. I hope that the stream went well today. And do a quick shout out. There were a few people in here, so this might actually be useful. Shout out to the great Wild Mantel. If anyone is not familiar with Mr. Wild, you should absolutely hop in and check his channel out. I've been playing a bit of Seven Days to Die recently, uh, getting a nice little community build going on. I may have been lurking this morning while I was getting ready to get out for the day. Um, and yeah, like, your underground crafting room looks so good. I am so jealous. The cobblestone one with the four forges in the center, mm, super good. Um, how am I doing? Voice sound a little different. Yeah, my voice has been a bit off. Like, my throat's just been a bit off the past few days. Um, but, uh, we're doing alright. We're doing okay. Next P farm setup. Very nice. But yeah, for anybody, uh, like I said, who's not familiar with Mr. Wild, definitely stop in, say hello, drop a follow. 
uh, mains 76. I'm you know, doing some Fallout 76 action, but has been getting back into some really fun Seven Days to Die community action as well. I'm gonna kind of set myself up here and get this lady out of here. Oh, she saw me. Oh, and a doggo. Oh, ho, ho. There, let me let me go ahead and put up some frames so y'all can actually see a bit. There you go. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Well. I do appreciate you stopping by. I'll have to get back to y'all here in just a second. It's been a, it's been a rough day. It's been a little bit of a rough day on here. I started. I have spawned twice now at a POI. Day one for initial spawn at a POI. Very interesting. Never happened to me before playing this game. First time I died before I even got out of the uh, the quest screen, where it's like, "Welcome, survivor." <laughs> I was dead before I even got out of there. It's very scary. Um, and this last time I spawned on top of a house. Literally spawned on the roof, which has never happened to me before. Oh my gosh, I knew I was too close to the waistline. Why can I not hit this dude? Help me. There we go. This isn't a big dude. Okay, it's not. Yeah, that was my, my quickest death ever. I would say the game, the game lasted about 10 seconds, if that. Oh, there we go. Got to like creep out on my toes here. Dogs on day two? Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to show you here in a sec. Um, I am by the wasteland. The game is very angry with me for some reason. Oh my goodness, help me. Things are happening. I'm not sure what they are, but I gotta check it out. <laughs> 50 bits. Permadeath bits. <laughs> yeah. We're getting some permadeath action in today for sure. That's why we're hiding up on top of this boulder. Can't really get a shot on this guy, unfortunately. Oh, well, we got a shot on him, but now I can't see his head. Oops. I did not mean to lose that. All right, let's move. Can we move you over, sir? Oh, I don't like that at all. Help me. If I could just get like a solid shot on his head here. Thank you very much, Mr. Worm, for those uh, permadeath bits. I do greatly appreciate you. And since I can't see this guy's head, I'm going to waste a jillion arrows trying to hit him. Is there any... Let me see. If, can I build out here at all? And then, like, remove that. There we go. Maybe? His head is in the boulder, though. Bruh. Now he's just gonna run off. Get out of here, man. I spent so much time trying to get to you. Oh my gosh, help me. I would love to hop down and kind of show y'all what's going on. I mean, there's nothing to show as far as, like, I have not built anything. Uh, for sure. Day two, we're still... What? Exploring. Oh, come on now. This is like, I don't know what's up, but this is like the most awkward setup. Fighting a zombie. Like his head is just able to go inside the block. There we go. My goodness. Yeah. 
Apparently, I just needed to dust his shoulder off for him. This is nonsense. My apologies, everybody who just came in. Uh, I will be hopefully done shortly. Uh, insane difficulty. Zombies have a ridiculous number of hit points. There we go. So it does take a while to kill them. All right. Well. Okay. You on uh, run all the time? Yes, I went to the settings and I just went to like the the presets and went to nightmare. So it's insane difficulty, uh, feral zombies always run, um, loot respawns every 30 days, um, it's rough business. Um, but yeah, I started exploring out here, and I was like, oh, the burnt forest, that doesn't look good, let's go this way. And then I ran into the wasteland, and that's why dogs on day two. Um, so I have burnt forest here, and wasteland like right over there. So this is a terrible, terrible spot to be in. So I will be picking up my mess, uh, like cleaning up the zombies here, and then we will be running the other direction. Because nobody should be here. Oh, can I get the... Let me get to this leather real quick. And my apologies if I missed anybody's chat there. Um, I will scroll back through here in just a second. Kind of a little bit occupied. I'll use that thing till it breaks. Let's see, okay. Oh, it used to be an above ground barbecue. But now it's underground. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, it was, uh, this morning I was kind of, like, getting ready, uh, for the day, and pulled up your stream for a bit, was lurking in there for a little, oh my gosh, help me! Where'd you go? Oh, I fell off. But it looks, it's super well designed. Like I was really digging how the, uh, like the chemistry station and everything is like it recessed. Uh, the forges themselves are just really well placed. Um, the whole thing just looks super nice. I love it. I know, <laughs> gotta run, man. Hey, check that out. Speaking of running, we got our first 10 skill points to spend. There we go. And our bow is dust, brother. This knife is almost dust, but that's okay. We have some bones so we can make some bone shivs shortly. Um, arrows. Do we have any more? Oh, okay, we do have some more feathers. This will get us over 100 for our weapons, which is nice. Okay, I'll let those craft out, but we need to get out of here, because um, this is not going to help us out at all. Um, okay, so let's go this way. Maybe head up to the top of the hill and stack on some frames and see what we can see. But yeah, I didn't even ask. Uh, how was the stream this evening, Mr. Wilden? Saw that you had uh, switched over to a Fallout 76 before I was hopping on here. I've been checking the uh, community. Oh my goodness, help me. The community chat uh, photos and stuff like that. Man, y'all have the coolest photos. Ah, help me. Yeah, 
Or the Fallout 76 photos that y'all always post up in there are really fun to watch or check out. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Oh, I have no stamina. My goodness. This folks got a lot of hit points, man. Ew. Nice. 107. It's a start, man. those guys they're too fast head south I'm almost doggy central it makes you nervous yeah I mean I'm getting away from the burnt forest and uh, the wasteland as soon as possible I also need to make sure that I'm keeping an eye out for bird's nest a little bit weird to use a torch during the day but it does help well it helps me anyway like kind of pick out the bird's nests I'm running through. Except for I probably just stepped on one. I thought I said seen another one. Maybe not. Okay. And we're off. Heading in a new direction. So that's right back to where we came from. So maybe I kind of go southwest? And I'm not really looking at like my exact location or whatever. I don't know. It's been kind of fun to just kind of feel out the map as I run around and not really be entirely sure as to where I'm at. Oh look, I got a wasteland city right there. Uh, nope. That is a big nope from me. Which I'll have to be careful for because the P oop. The POI can spell my doom very quickly. Oh, no, 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 no. Deer, stop moving. My aim is bad. You gotta stop. You gotta help me. How did that miss? There we go. This knife is done for. Alright, we will add it to our scrap iron collection. A bit wasteful, but I am short on space. That scrap iron will go to great use. Making some barbed wire fences for me. Okay. Wasn't there... I thought there was a bird's nest I ran over. Anyway. Yeah, POIs are super scary. Pretty much anything more than like a zombie is pretty scary. Although I don't see any at this one. Oh, we might run down there and loot this real quick. So if I can find anything useful, it'd be worth it. Oh, now we got a dude right there. There's another one right there. Mmm. -hmm. I mean, there is like a bookcase in there. I think there's some food in there. A medicine cabinet as well, right? I can't quite remember. The main issue right now is like the zombies can smell me. Oh, and there's a lady right there. So at least three zombies. Oop, there's a dude right there. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. I 
Oh, lady right there. Oh, we're fighting people anyway. Doesn't matter. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh. That was lucky. That was super lucky. Okay, that was a really bad shot. Okay, that has worked out better than I thought. I hope she's got some meds on her. We haven't eaten yet though, so we have a little bit of food. That will help us get our hit points. Nothing. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Decided against it, still got wrecked. Yeah, they decided for me, pretty much. Let's try to get a few of our hit points back. Oh man, honestly, we could eat all of this stuff. Drop it on my head. Oh, that's way far away. And he dropped it in the wasteland. So there is a an extremely high chance that I will never pick this airdrop up. Extremely high chance I'll never pick that up. All right, we got a few hit points back. That is nice. Not super excited about the rain. I'm not as well set up as my last game where I had. Ooh. Well, they're not worth very much. Um, I'm going to leave the bullet casings. We had my last game, I had a beanie, long sleeve shirt, some pants, and all kinds of stuff keep me warm. This game, I don't have anything yet. The hill's out here pretty steep. I'm hoping that I can get to the top of one of these, take a peek down, and hopefully see a town. Help me! I am a professional boulder warrior. If you got a boulder, I will fight zombies from it. Oh my. kind of been my jam. I just like run up to the nearest boulder, hop on it, and then shoot down upon the zombies. Most of the time it works out pretty well. The big guys can break a stone block in two hits, so that gets pretty tricky quickly when they just start tearing the boulder apart from underneath me. Nearly landed on top of a guy's head earlier. Pretty scary business. See, treasure maps and wasteland are always a dilemma for you. Your shotgun, you may risk it, but doggies and the hole you're digging is never fun. That is true. I am not a fan. And then there's always the risk of just like walking over a landmine that you didn't see. Like, I know in Mr. Wild's game, I think he was in the hub city, but like a landmine was hidden underneath the, the surface, like you couldn't even see it. Stepped on it, just blew him up. 
No way to defend against that. No way to, you know, turn around and go the other direction. I mean, I guess as far as landmines go, though, <laughs> uh, not in this game, but IRL, you know, generally buried is the preferred method. If they did that in this game, man, that'd be so rough. And there's another POI. There's a lady sat right out front. Is she the only one though? Nope, she nope, she's not the only one. There's no way that misses. Yeah, y'all good? Beautiful. You all do not need that many legs. Pick, please pick up the stone, thank you. Oh, Wild Man's Hill. Coming in with those uh, goodbye bits. Thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate you. Once again, thank you for bringing all of your friends along. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you once again for all those abettes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do our best. See if we can't find a town to kind of set up near. I don't want to be in the town just yet, but... Uh, be nice to have a place I can start maybe looting. Yeah, I will definitely be by. I uh, believe I'll, I should have time tomorrow. I'd very much like to hop in your stream and see what you got going on. But I hope you have a fantastic night. As I'm, here, let me get my stamina up while I say goodbye here. It's approaching 1 o'clock. Oh my gosh. Throw some goodbye bits and say goodnight. All right. Gotcha. Yeah, I do appreciate you as always. Um, have a fantastic night, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow morning, my time. <laughs> Ooh, and that sunshine. Got a little bit. Should be everybody from the house, right? Let me go take a quick peek in here. Not sure why I picked that up. Brass is mostly useless to me. I mean, especially at this stage, but really, the way I've been playing for a while now, I don't make my own bullets. So I don't really have a use for it. I didn't need to make that many, but that's okay. I need space, man. Right. Gotta help them out here.
And I'm just going to go around. Well, I actually don't know if I'll be able to now. The light. We'll see how that goes. Kind of just free hanging here. It's attached to the ceiling, but still. The game will let me in. Hey, let's go. Okay, and I was wrong about this POI. I thought this was the one with the bookshelf in it. I think this is the same style of POI that we were looking at last time. That Magnum parts are worth some money. Even low level parts are worth some money, man. I'm just like out of space. How are we doing on food? We might as well eat the tuna, eat the miso, drink the water. Free up a little bit of space. Some vitamins. On wrench. Okay. Cooking pot. Hey, there we go. Cooking pot. Very nice. Is there a cooking pot on the top cabinet? Jim, how do you know all this stuff? Like, how are you a genius? Oh my gosh, Jim Nation. The genius of our time. You are thoroughly knowledgeable about this game. Look at that. Look at that. I never knew that. Bird's nest and a cooking pot just sitting up there. Oh my gosh. Anything else hidden up here? Like, oh, I got a trader hiding up here. He's going to give me all kinds of free stuff. Oh my gosh. What's that POI? That's amazing. I have learned a thing today. Man, I need space, man. Right, I'm going to drop this real quick. Oh, I got... Hold up. You know what? I'm not going to plant those trees. I'm just going to drop them. I'm going to take this with me, though. Oh, wait, is that not going to give me any... I mean, it'll probably give me some when it breaks, but is it worth the 300 hit points? I'm not thinking it is. But, you know, science. We're about to find out. I'm saying 15. One? Oh my gosh. That was absolutely not worth it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Wait, what's down there? Oh, okay, so we do have a highway. So this should also lead to the highway. Oh my gosh, lady. Oh, there's a bird's nest right there I would love to have. Can I get you just like step on that real quick? Oh, there's another zombie right down there. <clears throat> that went right through our face. Like, watch that arrow go right through her face. Not in the good way. It did zero damage. It goes right through her face and does damage. That's great. <laughs> that time it did not. Try to go around this dude. It is a little bit tough because I do have the meat on me right now. I 
Oh my gosh, there's another POI. I don't want to deal with the POIs. I just want to get out of here. So I want to get at least like close to a town so I can set myself up. Probably be safer to set up away from a town. Like kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. And then, you know, get all geared up and make my way in after that. But I'm too stubborn. Is it a crawling? If it's a crawling zombie, we're going back. There you are. Oh man, don't be stuck in the boulder. Okay. If they get stuck in a boulder, like with their heads inside of it, it's just not worth it. It'll take you way too long to kill them. On insane difficulty, like you could, I'd say you could probably sit there for like five minutes just hitting the zombie on his legs. <laughs> Before you kill him. I'm talking about a literal five minutes. So like even getting headshots would take a while. What is the good version of an arrow through the face? By the way. Oh, we're like, you know, the arrow just goes straight through their head and it like explodes. That is the good version. Actually, I need to keep looking for error bird's nest, but I really have a hard time not getting caught up just being like, I gotta sprint to wherever it is I'm going. Don't know where I'm going, but I'm gonna sprint there. Where is that? <clears throat> Excuse me. to the top of the hill, kind of stack up on some frames real quick, see where we're at. I know it's getting late. It's a bit hard to see. We might be able to get a view of things. Might be a good idea just to hang out up here and gather resources throughout the night. Oh, there's a clue. We got water. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got a little four-way here. Okay, all right, this might be a little something we could set up at. It's not a town, so I mean, it's not amazing, but a little four-way might be a good place to kind of get looted and set up before we move on to the town. At least give us somewhere we can, like, make a campfire and put our loot down. Wait, don't you dare. Pick up a glass pane, get out of here. You know what to do when you get there? Wait, what's going on? I may not know where you're going, but you know what to do when you get there. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. You can listen to that song, keep on running. Too many distractions for T1 today. <laughs> yeah. I'm easily distractible. an issue.
wonder if I ever let that other bone shiv despawn. Okay. Nice. Uh, a lot of zombies, but also potential for a lot of loot. Good old ostrich hotel, man. Oh, there's a lady. Wait, how is she coming to stage for me? Should we run a poll? Watch me get killed while trying to do this. Or not a poll, but a prediction. There we go. Will I survive this fight <laughs> going into this POI? Oh, we're fighting right now. Got an idea, got an idea. Still coming. Oop. Did it work? And I mean the main fight, not these folks here. Oh man, he's got it figured out. They're just making their way down slowly. You super intelligent zombies. Look at them go. Yeah, the fight for the prediction is the uh, the one going into town. There are a bunch of zombies in there. I have to get re-geared up. And I know I am missing a bit of chat right now. I will get caught up as soon as I am able. Thought I heard another zombie. There was a third zombie on that hill. There he is. I don't know what that guy's doing. Got her. That was the lady I was trying to avoid initially. is toast. Okay. I want to keep them all kind of like over here so cleanup is pretty easy. All right. Apologies for the darkness, once again, I just lost a body. Yeah, 
Yeah, this wooden globe is kind of useless on this difficulty. Alright, that dude just died for unknown reasons. I mean, I guess I hit him, but the other dude was in front. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gotta watch my toes, this dude gonna come up from behind me. Need some sunlight or something coming through. It's too dark. Don't you come getting on this barbed wire, man. I just put it down. It's not even for you. Oh, there. Now I can look cool. Check us out. Mmm. Put some points in the pummel peat to help us out here. Especially these dudes, man. They got so many hit points. Honestly, I don't even think this is worth it. Um, if this dude hits me, I'm going to lose like half my health. Once again, sorry for all of the darkness here. cars and stuff at the hotel. Hopefully I can find a mining helmet. That would be the best outcome here. But yeah, we definitely need to uh, remake our weapons real quick. Okay, my gosh. Um, I'm thinking an iron reinforced club might be my, my jam here. Help me, please. Uh, it's 100 iron, though. Shoot. That's not very good. But it might be the thing that saves our life. That's how we do it. I mean, I think even an iron reinforced club is not going to do a whole lot against these guys, but it's better than a wooden one, that's for sure. Okay. Alright, now that we've uh, kind of got ourselves set up again, I can actually like go back through chat. Um, let me see. Let me listen to that. Okay. If you don't check this stuff, you'll be forever wondering what is in there. You get it. Yep. Got to be checked. Alright. Okay, and then this is what the prediction was all about, is making our way into town, or this little four-way, and seeing if we can make it out alive. Last minute looting. We may never get this opportunity again. Tree stumps from afar. Oh my gosh, I need all this stuff. Oh, I don't need that. Um, I like the brown t-shirt better than the blue one. We got some cool shades. Oh, man, now we're looking ultra cool. All right. Let's get in here. 
Oh man, is everyone ready? Um, I'm gonna say that I'm ready. I potentially am lacking the confidence behind that statement, but uh, we're gonna say it anyway. This looks super familiar. Did I come across this four-way in one of my other playthroughs of this map? Man, I got everyone all hyped up and there ain't even nobody here. But I'm pretty sure... Two Bs? Three Bs? Where am I? So there's a zombie over there. Okay, normally there are a bunch of zombies when you come running in here. You were almost convinced I was ready? Nice. A will? It's super weird that there are bees just hanging out. The zombie sounds like they're in the garage. out for a little bit. I'm thinking I might be a shoe in for this one. But they're inside. They're inside <clears throat> the garage. Well, while they figure that out. Oh, boy. Oop. Booyah. Almost didn't survive. Woo! I was absolutely bleeding out there for a second. And I am definitely about to thirst to death. Game, no time for fog. It's hard enough to see, even for me right now. Okay, my wellness is gonna start dropping here in just a sec. Okay. My gosh, my apologies. I know you can't see. Um, man, that was uh, not super good. get inside. Either that or these folks need to have some water. Oh, that was so dumb. That was so dumb. I saw him right there. Just in case I start bleeding out again, I'll actually be able to stop it. I'm really sorry this is so dark. 
I don't know what I can do about it right now. Sound like she was inside and made you jump. Maybe you jump also, man. I was terrified. None of the zombies got loot. Okay, he did make it out. Darn it. I don't have time for this, man. I'm wet. It's raining. You mean I can just open my mouth and get some water in right now? Can I just set a jar down on the ground? Do I have a blood bag on me? No, I don't. All right. Um. Okay. Man, I got two clay on me. Get out of here. I hear you, man. Listening for a second, I thought I heard some more zombies. Yeah, I got you, I got you, we're dying. Oh, yeah, yep, that is right where I'm going. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, I am so dead. They just spawned a wandering horde on me. This is my last barbed wire. Oop, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, sorry everyone. They didn't have time to craft. answer was yes I did survive the initial fight but um, yeah there is nothing I can do about that like they spawned a bunch of zombies right on top of me like just after I finished the fight they spawned a wandering horde on me I had time, <clears throat> excuse me, if I would have had time for like one of those barbed wire fences to craft off, then we would have been fine. Oh, goodness. Rip. Well... Hard to fight that many in the darkness. Yeah. Yeah, if I'd have just had a chance, like, uh, man, I just needed some water. And then I heard them all coming in. I should have, like, what I should have done is just, like, drop some barbed wires, fences right in front of the door. 
Wait, I didn't have it completely broken down yet, though, did I? I don't know. I just saw a dude running down the hall, and I was like, I got to get out of here. Anyway. Well, that'll do it for this playthrough. My gosh. We are having a rough go of it, aren't we? Um, so, I'll do my quick YouTube outro. I guess go ahead and take another short break. But anyway... For y'all catching this on YouTube, uh, that's attempt like number 15 or something. I'll, I'll have it sorted out when I put the videos up. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm going to go ahead and boogie on. Thank y'all for hopping in, hanging out, checking out the video. And uh, yeah, y'all take care. Take it easy. And I'll see you around next time. <laughs> see you around. Bye. All right. That was my YouTube outro. I guess I should mark that somewhere. Um, let's see. Oh, Game and Granny. Yeah, you have a good night. You have a lovely evening as well. I do greatly appreciate you hopping in and hanging out. Coming over with the wild stream. <laughs> or the wild raid, I guess. Man. I was so stoked. Like, we actually killed all of the zombies in the area. I was ready to start looting it up, man. But uh, Wandering Horde felt otherwise. Um, but yeah, I gotta sort out what I'm gonna do. Like, it's kinda, it's too late for me to start another one. I mean, I could, but... I don't want to start one of these. I mean, I know they're only lasting like a couple hours each, but I don't want to start one that like actually goes well and then have to like cut it off and then just like a few hours. So I'm not entirely sure what it is that I'm going to do. It's rough, man. It's rough. Anyway, um, <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to take a short break. Give me just a couple minutes. I'll be right back. Um, I might be switching games. And then I, I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I might have to give this a break. I know I was giving the other Permadeath series a break. But man, this is... Uh, this has been wrecking me. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I play enough to really be on top of it like I used to be. But I don't even really know that there was a whole lot I could have done about that. I should have refilled my barbed wire fences immediately as soon as that fight was over. I was like, I need water! But yeah, I really want to get into a, uh, like a building series. Like, even just a small one. Like, I have an idea that I want to work out. But, um, it'd be nice just play at a normal difficulty level, and then whether I die or not, just, like, come back and continue working on what it is that I'm doing. Um, I might do that. Just do, like, a short build series. Anyway, I'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm done with seven days for right now. For the night, I mean. You know, I'll be back next Saturday on this. So, anyone who's hanging out watching some Seven Days to Die, I do appreciate you. You're like a fabulous, fabulous, I can't speak. <clears throat> when I switch games, it will end the stream. Uh, so, my apologies for that. Um, but yeah, I'll just like switch over real quick. And I think I'm just going to play a little bit over the Fortnite. The kids keep asking me, like, have you played Fortnite? So, and I don't have much time before this season ends. So, I'll try to get in a few matches on that before we call it quits for the evening. But yeah, for anybody who's just hanging out for the Seven Days to Die action, I do appreciate you. Y'all are fabulous, amazing, wonderful people. But, uh, yeah. You have a good night. See you later, Gem Nation. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll see y'all all again very soon. <laughs> y'all take care. I take it easy. I'll see you around next time. Alright, bye.